Originally when we did V-Ray GPU, we thought that people would be using it mostly for interactive rendering, but we quickly realized that people want to use it also for final frames. My name is Vlado, I'm the CTO of Chaos Group and I'm the original developer of the V-Ray renderer. V-Ray is a photorealistic renderer, it's been around for 15 years, it's used for architectural visualizations, it's used for product design, TV commercials, TV shows, film, visual effects. Our goal is to have all the features supported on the GPU. More and more people are using the GPU render, especially now we added hybrid rendering, so people can actually use also the CPUs that they have in their machine. And it really helps a lot for people who just want to experiment with GPU rendering, but they don't have the hardware yet. It's been amazing, really, because the GPU speed is going up so much faster than, than the speed of CPUs. We just had the Pascal release like a few months ago, and now we have Volta already, so it's kind of amazing. People have more and more complicated scenes these days, like millions of polygons, lots of textures. And we were worried that memory is going to be a problem, but it looks like it's not that much of a problem anymore. GPU 100 is a very interesting piece of hardware, not only because of NVLink, which allows our customers to put multiple GPUs and, and share the memory between them. Also, the GPU 100 is a lot faster than we expected. It's like up to 40% faster than the previous generation cards, which is really amazing. We didn't expect it to be that much faster. I think GPU rendering in the next five years will be everywhere. Obviously, people render more and more complicated stuff, especially for VR, and GPUs really help with that.